morning from Marseille. Bonjour. We have no industrial site as usual. Yes, there is a sign saying Marseille. I think it's between us. Yeah. Might be able to make it out. Um, we have no clue what we're doing today. Probably going to a big shopping centre that we've noted is here because I need a France Starbucks mug. I don't have it. I've been to France so many times in my life, but I've never had the Starbucks mug, so it's high time. Um, Pete's not feeling brilliant again today, no. so we don't know how long we're going to last out. Um, but there's a shuttle bus that takes us from the port, which is a secure zone. You can't walk through it. No. Um, it's illegal. Probably because it's all the shipping and whatnot. But um, that's £5 each, each way. So that will be £20 round trip. Uh, comes off your onboard credit or goes on your credit card that you've put on your account. It's cold as well. It is blooming chilly. It might look beautiful, but I mean it is. But it's a little, little barky. So the jumpers yeah. are on again Ooh. today. But we're going to go down to the Keys for breakfast. We'll try to film there maybe. It might be a bit busy though. Yeah. Um, if not, we'll chuck in some stills. trying to sleep off a headache. It's really not feeling too good again today. We're still hoping to go out to the shopping centre and just pop back again. Quite a lot of people aren't getting off today. There's a lot of people just chilling out at the bar and in the atrium, just having a, having a relaxing day. But we are sharing the port with two huge MSC ships today. It's the Seaside and the Grandiosa ships. Never been on MSC. I don't know if anyone else out there has. Are they any good? Should we try them? Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. It is, as you can see, a bit chilly. It's just blow. It's the wind. The wind is really chilly. Uh, if the wind stopped, it would be absolutely beautiful. Um, but I'm going to carry on with my power laps around the prom deck. I've got a load of walking apps that give me points for walking. So I'm hoping to get a couple of vouchers out of them on this trip. Uh, trying to get at least, I think I'm averaging about 12,000 steps a day. Some days less, some days a lot more. Um, yeah, I shall keep going. Well, we're off the... Longest port yeah, it's a journey port. on a coach I've ever been on, I think. It was literally to get out the port and it took about 20 yeah. years. Yeah, don't underestimate how small it is. Um, you, you, you're you not allowed to walk it because it's a secure zone, yeah. so you have to. Um, it is chargeable if you're on a save affair like we are. Yeah. If you've got a select fare, it's free or it's, included, really. It's very breezy, so sorry about the wind noise. Yes, we're just walking back in the direction we just came in with the coach to the large shopping centre. It took you actually underneath it. Yeah, so, so. we'll uh, join you in there, I think, where it might be a bit warmer. And less windy. Here we are. Five minute walk back from where you came. Five basically. to ten minutes, yeah. At least we know where to. Let's go, go in the main entrance. That looks like the restaurant area. Terrace du Port. I think you'll find it's Terrace du Port. Well, one did get an A for one's GCSE in French, but it was a long time ago. And. Oh, this is nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. Someone on the Facebook group for the crew said it make, this place makes blue water look like a shopping um, corner shop. Yeah, they're not wrong. Anna Claire is here. <laughs> right, where are we headed first? Sephora. Oh, really? Mrs. B has gone into the uh, vortex that is for her. Oh my god. I expect to see an elephant in a tuxedo. Oh well. Best shop in the world. Mm. It's better than Sephora. Is it though? Yes. Proper shopping done. And now we're in Uniqlo. Boys will feel my pain. Mrs. B has found a mug. It looks like, yeah, good, nice choice. Calm, nice. 
Eau Florence and Avignon. As well as the French, right? There's a blue one there. What's that one? No, the one next to it. Ah, is that the new style? No. This is Bee's happy now. Check it's a good one. Yeah, looks good. It's a long way up. Yes, uh, I managed to uh, have my own line of clothing out. Obviously. And it's here in uh, Marseille. There you go. Sweet pants. Pete sweet pants. They're not. Sculpture of a man's bit too. Watch as Mrs. B tries to get out the chair. Oh. I'll get you. There we go. Who's having a coffee fit on the chair? You comfy there? It's my chair. Though. Is it though? Yeah. It's going to be funny getting you off this chair now. Hang on. Evening meal time. Beach house. Yeah, we like the beach house. Might be a different menu because we're on week two, and most of the time the restaurants have a week one menu and a week two menu for obviously a two week cruise. Mm. So we have yet to find out. This yeah. is all. Uh, this is all prepaid. Uh, we booked it ahead of time. Normally it's a cover charge of nine pounds each upcharge for the full three courses. There's a few little things on the menu that you can pay a teeny weeny bit more for, but because we booked it ahead of time, uh, we paid seven pound forty each. Yeah. So not well, too okay. bad, really. Uh, and the food is usually pretty damn fine. So we'll see you there. So it turns out it's the same menu, which is a shame. The skins have arrived. Remember on Arvia and Aurora, they get served on a wooden... Yes, they were on a thing like that, weren't they? On a long they? plate, yeah. Yep. I like the fact the portions aren't too crazy big. Yeah. So you don't stuff yourself with just the starter. Do you want to say hello to the people we met this morning? Yes, yeah, sitting next to us at the Keys for breakfast was Pam and Andy, who live near Blackpool. Yeah. Um, we had a lovely little chat Please. and they're subscribers, so thank you very much, guys, and um, hope you enjoy the rest of the cruise and hope to bump into you again in the next week or so. We've done swapsies. Yes. Pip, Pip's gone for the wraps and the chicken and I've gone for the tacos. Not sure how much of this I'm going to eat. It looks a lot. Tato skins they start were really nice. Yeah. We'll let you know how it was after. Right, Lego wise, here's what I got today in Marseille. As you saw in a mini vlog, there's Mrs B. Uh, potted Groot, Brickhead. Iron Spider-Man Brickhead and some Potter Brickheads. There we go. Oh, that's the back of the box, right? Too much Lego. Shush. So there's who we got? Sirius Black. Hermione Granger. Harry Potter, as usual. Stag Petronius. And a Dementor. I like a Dementor, it's cool. So that's the Lego I got in Barcelona. The Dementor got... looks like a Cyclops. Does it? Oh yeah. Maybe it is. <laughs> anyway, that's the Lego I got today. 
And we're back from, what's it called? Beach House. <laughs> Forgot. Yeah, I liked it. There was only sort of some things on the menu that were sort of really called to us, to be honest. Uh, yeah. The skins were really nice. I liked the, the I fajitas. The fajitas were really good that Pete had last time. I had tacos. I'm not feeling it. Didn't really want them, so I just picked at it, really. And I had apple pie for pudding like I had last time. Yeah, it's okay. That was very nice. It was a massive portion. I didn't finish it. Uh, yeah, it just it's slightly different menu to beach houses on other piano ships. Yep. So that's probably why it didn't sing to us. We preferred the other menus on the other ships. There's, oh, well. there's a lot of seafood and yeah, it's Car- te- Tex-Mex. It's Caribbean yeah. themed-ish. So if you like yeah. your spicy stuff, that's the thing for you, but we won't be doing it again this trip. No, and we haven't, we, well, we haven't booked it, have we? No. And we've got other things to, other places we want to eat, so. But, but yeah, I've, I've had a meal, a, I'm fine. It's a nice place to eat, nice and quiet. Yeah. Apart from the reggae music. We're like, oh. Just about Blaring it. away all the time. That's because okay. it's Caribbean themed. Anyway, so it ends their Marseille day. Of sorts. That yes. It, that, it's, that it was. <laughs> Pips but, off to see a comedian a bit later. Yes, I'm going to have to see his second show because the food t- took quite a while to come out at Beach yeah. House, but no matter. Uh, I shall take all this off and get ready for bed before I go. <laughs> Guess what night it is? It's go to the buffet night. <laughs> yeah, it's so formal night. Celebration night. Yes, it means you have to be gussied up to go into certain restaurants. You don't have to partake if you don't want to. No, um, but you can't get into those restaurants if you aren't. Um, it's not all of them, so there's plenty that you can go to. You yeah. know, in your gym jams if you want to. Gives an excuse to put uh, posh togs on. Yep, I have. A few hours um, anyway. I have another um, vintage bargain. So this was. Uh, Vinted, uh, I think, new without the tags, but um, fabulous irregular choices. They're my own anyway. I've had those for years. Um, I think dress was about six pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Bargain. Vinted addict, selling and buying. Um, but you also get a drinks voucher on this. There's two formal nights on this cruise. You just get the drinks vouchers on the first one. Yeah. Um, and it's for a glass of Prosecco or a glass of Elderflower Presse, which is the non-alcoholic one. Lady Petrol. <laughs> well, not the Air of Power Press A, anyway, but yeah. I don't know, you can't... <coughs> I've got a bit of a bug, You've I think. You've really not been feeling well, have you? Yeah, not had a good day. But the weather oh. has been absolutely beautiful. The sea has now calmed down. It's but, been really flat today. Yeah, it's lovely. Not really ship movement at all today. 24 hours, it's completely changed. Oh, completely. So we're off to Sindhu for some... Grub. Posh nosh. Oh, I can't wait. Love Sindhu. So, ill or not, I'm not missing Sindhu. <laughs> He's powering yeah. through for the food. Uh, well, next time you see us, it'll probably be maybe in the atrium or maybe it's yeah. Hindu. Yeah. You don't know yet. seated in Sindhu. We got in early, which is good. Well, 20 minutes, so not too bad. Pip still got a lady okay. petrol. I'm on my first one. I'm just going to have water tonight, play safe. Thank you, P&O, though. Yep. Much obliged. Um, we have our menus. So we booked this ahead of time. It was £10 deposit each, uh, to which will come off the bill. And I believe we also get a little discount for booking ahead of time. So yeah. I'll keep you posted as to how much upcharge this was. Everything in here is an upcharge, but not a vast amount. For instance, the red chicken curry I've got my eye on is £9.50. 
Yeah. So it's not crazy, but it is. The food in here, every time we've been on into a Sindhu on a piano ship, whichever ship it's been, yeah. it's been fantastic. Anyway, so once the food turns up, we'll let you know how it is. Yeah, it is a bit Animal Kingdom, isn't it? it so really it's an open. Animal Kingdom. It's an open kitchen here. As you can see, the chefs are over there prepping the food. I'm loving the colour palette in here. The yeah. golds and the bronzes and the deep jam. Matches the ship, actually, doesn't it? You get a few more poppadoms on here than you have in the previous ships. Oh yeah, it's a bit more generous. Yeah. So this comes um, complimentary. Yeah, this is complimentary. What are the three things? I have no clue. Mango, lime pickle, and something else. Let's call it ch chili marmalade. <laughs> Starters have arrived. Yeah, stuffed puffed flatbread, is that what they called? We have had these before. You might have spotted them on previous yeah. vlogs if you're an avid watcher. They are so good. Yeah. They're chickpea and stuff. Really nice. I'm going. Go on then, all in one. So uncouth. Um, yes, I have exactly the same. Yep. Oh, look at my steak. Perfect. What have we got in the middle, Mrs. B? Uh, dal. Rice, dal, vegetable curry. Vegetable rice. Nile no bread. And uh, we've got red chicken curry. Wow, that's amazing. And noodles. You like to have noodles of it, don't you? Oh, yeah. We are about to destroy this. So starters are good. Oh, we love the starters. Yeah. And now we're going to polish these off. We'll let you know how it is after we've stuffed their faces. Well, we are done. My steak was fabulous. How was your chicken? Amazing. Another meal here and it has not disappointed. We have the bill. So I'm going to pop that down there so you can have a look. So we had already paid the £10 each deposit. Yeah. And a 20% discount by the looks of it for booking ahead of time. So the whole thing only actually costs us an extra £4.40. So if you count the £20 we paid, that was a £24.40 upcharge, which quite honestly is more than worth it. Yeah. But the good thing was Pip had a free lady petrol as well. Yeah, because so. it's formal night, so and Pete didn't really want to drink. Tonight, no, I didn't want to drink. It's feel too good, so yeah. um, we haven't actually paid for booze tonight. So that's good. Four pound forty. Nice. Billets. So Pete's just gone to change because he um, wants to get into his comfies, but we've just gone to the keys to get a pudding that's included. We're not paying for this. Uh, we didn't really fancy in this, anything in the Cindy restaurant, so I've got dolce de leche tart. It's got a New York baked cheesecake. I'm staying in my finer age for a little bit longer. Well, we had a lovely meal at Sindhu. So nice. I actually managed to put the steak away. I'm pleased about that. Yes, it was, felt up to it. Yeah, it's enjoyable. And now we're in the uh, headliners again to see the Celtic Harps again. The yeah, Celtic Harps. Second show, going to be completely different. Exactly. So, we hope Look, so. They were fantastic the first yeah. time, so yeah. Looking forward to it. Uh, we'll let you know how it is afterwards. In Mullinga that night I rested in So weary started by daylight Next morning bright and early Took a drop of the pure To keep me hard from sinking That's the right on I said you love back from the uh, Celtic Harps. Really good once again. Yeah. We think, on balance, we preferred the first show. Yeah. But that's purely because of the different songs that they sang. But yeah, they're still absolutely fantastic. Definitely worth a watch. Good harmonising. All good voices. Yeah, fantastic And good voices. audience engagement. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, tomorrow, oh. we've got um, another vocalist called Lloyd Wade, I believe. Lloyd Wade. I'll confirm that when we film. Yes. I haven't heard of him either, but we're going to give him a crack. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting all Irish now, aren't I? Cause we've <laughs> crack. Give, give a crack. <laughs> yeah, so if you get a chance to see the Celtic Harps on a ship in the future, because they're leaving, they're getting off at uh, Parmela, Mallorca. But if you get a chance to uh, see them, go and see them. They're yeah, really good. We'd recommend. Yeah. Just so everybody knows, there's Braille on the signs. For those with sight deficiencies, so it's good. Golf time. Oh, with a view. It's quite good. Oh, no, I'm thrashing Pip at the moment. You really are. I am. It's about a draw. 
I am super winning. Yeah, Skywalk's not open. No, it's not open today, it's too breezy. It's not the breeziest of days, but... It must be up there though. Yeah. The uh, box of wood are wobbling around a bit. Good evening. Evening. It's been a lovely day at sea. Food time. Yes, we are off to the Sixth Street Diner, which is a new one for us because yeah. she's not on her sister ship, Iona, that we've been on before. Um, included in the price of the cruise, so nothing extra. I did book this ahead of time just in case. Yeah. Uh, of course, to six is our uh, time because we tend to eat early most of the time, don't yeah. we? It's about um, half five now, so. Yeah, there's no um, upcharge on anything apart from drinks, I believe, but yeah. we will let you know once we get down there. Um, heard good things about this place, so very yeah. much looking forward to it. So, burgers and fries then? Or, yeah, Ch chicken? Hot dogs? I don't know, it's going to be. Yeah, oh, hot dogs. Uh, well, hmm. American style. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Sixth Street Diner. Go for the Ronex, be my baby. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Oh, you know that line, yeah. then? So, croquettes on pivot's plates. Yes, Reuben croquettes. Shall I just cut into one and see what yeah. they look like? Keep talking, because repeat is Okay, great. I'll keep talking. So, they've got... Meat sauerkraut, I think it was. Hang on. Can we eat sauerkraut? Mm. Nice. I've gone safe Caesar salad. Mates have arrived. Loud in here. Yep. I've got a burger, slaw, and fries. Very classic, very American. Pickle. Oh. And some red cabbage. Yeah. Or is that red onion? No, red cabbage. Cabbage, I think, coleslaw. I've got a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. So that looks good. And the fries. Right, let's tuck in. We'll let you know how it is afterwards. So we're back from Sixth Street Diner. That was included, so no extra charge because we didn't have any drinks, no, we just had water. water. Um, I really liked my meal. Mine wasn't so hot. Not so struck. I had Caesar salad where it's supposed to be charred lettuce and it was just stone cold. Are you sure it wasn't charred chicken? Not charred no, lettuce? No, no, it's just, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it was... okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't what I expected. Um, my Reuben croquettes were really good. I liked mine. Uh, and so was my Nashville hot chicken sandwich, although it wasn't hot, as in spicy hot. Perfectly hot, temperature-wise. So I had the all-American hamburger, which was... I only had half of it, didn't I? Yeah. Cut it in half, I only ate half. The burger's a bit too hard and... Was it chewy and...? Chewy, yeah, I think they've been cooked a while on the hot plate, so... I, under I a heat lamp. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend you have them. Try something else, but... We had key lime pie for dessert, and, and that was that was superb. We just shared the one piece because we were quite stuffed. It's huge. Um, yeah, that was really nice. Really like that. Yeah. Um, the theming in there is great. Yeah, good. As you will have seen, um, we'd happily go back. They do a brunch menu from 10 in the morning till 2, so we might try and get a cheeky virtual queue for that one day. Yeah, yeah. see what else is on offer. Yeah. Yeah, so... But all in all, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't bad. brilliant. Good place to eat, but... They need to improve a few bits in there, so 
But the it is classed as a main dining restaurant, so you don't pay for the food. Yeah. Or pay extra. <laughs> Broadway spa time. Yeah, bit of time for a bit of self pampering. Uh, so Pete has got a simple glow mask that's going to brighten and revitalise your skin for a radiant glow. Simple mask for a simple person. I'm saying nothing. Um, I've got, uh, that was a, a simple branded one, I've got one from Lidl. <laughs> um, a glow boost mask, hydrating and refreshing for tired skin. Well, hardly. Why? I just don't look tired at all. That's debatable. I'm sort of slightly backlit, so you can't really see viewers. <laughs> right, OK. Let's stick these on. Let's do it. So Pete always says these feel disgusting, but he still does one. It just feels weird. Oh, they're lovely. They're so cooling. So, fellas, if fella was, any of the fellas out there have ever done one of these, do you think they're disgusting, or do you think they actually feel quite nice? Um, I look completely different. I don't even look like me. What? It's got a touch, otherwise it's not going to at some point, isn't it? Oh, dearie me. <laughs> well, it's going to make Pete glow and make me look not tired, apparently, so we shall see. Come back in ten minutes. You'll glow all the time, though, apparently. That's called makeup. Mrs. B is going for it. Oh, it's like peeling off sunburn, except it's nice. Oh. It was lovely. Do you feel all of a glow? It feels really nice, actually. I'm glad I started doing this after a long haul flight. Yeah. It actually does really wake your skin up and make you feel a bit more human. So we'll definitely need these for later in the year. Can I take mine off now? You can take yours off. Thank you very much. Let's what? Yeah. Drum yeah. roll. Yeah. And he's glowing. What? Hold it like it's a dead animal. <laughs> I'll give it here, let me put it in the bin. Discard it for me. Choppy today. In the Mediterranean. This is what's known as a Mistral Winds from the northwest. 50 knots. So as you can see. Lots of waves. And spray, I can feel it. Beautiful, though. These are the peak time for service. And this is the dinner menu. Going for the field Yorkshire pudding from the keys. Two trays of roast potatoes. Looks lovely. It's beef today. Looking forward to this. Pippa's got one of her all time favourites. Chicken katsu curry. Oh, except it's with okay. noodles this time, not rice. But that's cool. I don't mind. You love a noodle, don't you? Mm. Barcelona. Yeah. 
So we're not quite sure what we're doing yet, but hopefully it'll be we can walk from the port to some places. We do hope so. If yeah. not, we'll have to get that shot of the bus. So yeah. Never anyway, mind. thank you very much for watching. We appreciate every one of you. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, all of that yeah. stuff. And um, we'll... I'll leave it to Mrs. B. We'll see you on Barcelona. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed that video, why not check out this one here? And we also have some playlists. And here's one here. We'll see you there. Bye.